It's winter here at the Cape May Feeders, and for us that means we get to hear one of the most lovely and plaintive sparrow songs, White-Throated Sparrow. White-throated sparrows are a winter bird here in Cape May, as well as through much of the United States, aside from the Rocky Mountains and Northern Plains. In the spring, they migrate north to breed in Canada and parts of the Northeast. We frequently have these birds at our feeders, usually on the ground, searching for any kind of seed. They are generally in flocks, so if you see or hear one, there are bound to be more. Luckily for us, they often sing in the late fall and through the winter, adding to the otherwise sparse sonic landscape. Here are two of their songs that we hear most frequently in our area. Note the long, clear whistles that don't slur up or down, and that usually have a big pitch change after the first note. I love hearing these songs in winter. They bring a little warmth and cheer into the otherwise cold and snowy landscape. We also frequently hear two types of calls, their flight call and their alarm call. The flight call is a high seat that is distinct from most of the calls we hear around here, so it's easy to pick out. The alarm call is a sharp, almost cardinal-like chip. Here they are. Before we go, we need to look at another fascinating aspect of this sparrow species. Many species of birds are sexually dimorphic, which means the males and females look different. But white-throated sparrows are unique in the bird world for their balanced polymorphism. This means that there are two morphs or versions of white-throated sparrow. There's a tan-striped version and a white-striped version. This has nothing to do with sex. There are male and female versions in both morphs. And almost all breeding pairs have one of each, which genetically produces an even number of both white-striped and tan-striped birds. That means there's a stable population of both tan and white-striped birds that stays in about a 50-50 ratio. Not only that, but the white-striped birds are more aggressive and do less parental care, while the tan-striped versions are the opposite. White-striped females sing, while tan-striped rarely do. Males of both colors prefer white-striped females, while females prefer the tan-striped males. This all results in a stable population of both types. Amazing. I could go on, but suffice to say that white-throated sparrows are a very cool bird.